curious about weight loss surgery in Tijuana, wondering about the schedule, you're in the right place. Join us as we simplify the process, answering your questions and breaking down the journey step by step, ready to embark on a transformative experience. Let's dive in together. Who is a good candidate for weight loss surgery? A good candidate for a weight loss surgery is any patient that suffers from obesity and has been through multiple treatments without any successful closure. Also, patients with medical conditions like diabetes, high blood pressure, dyslipidemia, also any breathing problem, we can treat them as, and it's a good treatment for this kind of patient. Also, a good candidate for a weight loss surgery is the patients that have BMI over 30. It can be lower in some cases if we find any patients with a comorbidity. What does a weight loss journey in Tijuana look like? Well, the first thing that I do is to check the medical history. Then I put like the important points of each patient because every patient is different. I'm always side to side with Dr. Casares with all the information. Uh, the first thing what we do is to take an AKG on each patient because it's important for the anesthesia. Then check the lab test and also the vital signs. And in case I see something that it's important to take care of, I am always say everything to Dr. Casares and to the anesthesiologist. This is the day of the procedure. Then when the procedure is over, we always say to the patient if everything went well or if we have any finding on the surgery, then we keep them at the recovery area for one hour because we need to be checking that they are doing good with the vital signs and if they have any symptom, we check them everything there and then we take them to the floor so they can have a last part of the recovery there. The second day that we think that we do is to give first the liquid diet and if the patient is tolerating well the liquids, we give the indications to continue walking and moving so the patient can feel comfortable with the surgery. Then we check that the wounds are doing well if the patient don't have any important bleeding or leaking. And in case the patient needs a drain, we remove that drain the, the second day. The next thing that we do is to call the nutritionist so she can give the, to the patient the indications about the diet and all the questions that, that the patient can have with the food that he can have at that time. And well, the day three usually is the, the church day. So we give the indications for home. We give all the medication that the patients need and we give the indications of the exercises that the patient can do and all the activities that he needs or she needs to make at home. MBS guiding you on your weight loss journey.